Thursday everyone, so glad to see everybody back. Hope your week has been great. I'm doing two videos in one video tonight because number one, the tag video is tagged in by Be Fabulous With Me, Irene, is that I need to come up with things that my husband hates in my closet. So I literally took my husband into the closet. I go, Jack, look around, see what you just don't like, and I'll talk about it on YouTube. Because I was tagged to do it, and I think it's a great tag. And he just wouldn't do it. He says there's really nothing I don't like in my closet. So I cannot do that tag video. Today I wanted to do a comparison of the capacity between the Louis Vuitton Alma BB and the Chanel Classic Flap. This is a vintage in the small size. If you've never joined me before, my name is Jennifer. I upload between two to four videos a week. I'd love it if you subscribed. I absolutely love talking about handbags, especially Louis Vuitton and Chanel. Always remember to hit that notification bell at the bottom here so you're notified when I upload my next video. The reason that I wanted to do a comparison of the capacity of these two is that the price difference is quite large and you have to kind of know why you're buying the Chanel Classic Flap. The Chanel Classic Flaps that I've owned are the minis, both the square and the rectangular, the now small twice, one was the 2018 and now this is from 1990, between 1994 to 1997, and the jumbo twice. What in the medium, I've owned the lambskin uh, caviar and um, I've owned those and so sold them all. And the reason is, is that I just don't reach for them as much. Now, when you invest in a Chanel, some of us like me just want to have it in the collection. That means I'm not gonna really use it that much. I just feel it's an honor to actually own one because of the history. But if you're looking for function, I thought it would be good to compare the two so that you can see which one you would buy. So I picked seven items that most of us use on a daily basis. I call them our daily essentials. And I got this compiling just from watching your all's videos because we tend to use the same daily essentials. Number one that always comes up is our favorite Louis Vuitton mini pochette. Mine is in the 2018 winter design. It was so cute with the two bears skiing and their little speedies and one has a Palm Springs backpack. Louis Vuitton card holder. Louis Vuitton six ring key clay. As you know, mine holds a lot more than six. I have eight keys that keep me functioning during the day and my full size car key. This is really easy to close now so it stretches out. The Hermes Bastia coin purse. The Chanel O coin purse. Lip color, which I chose tonight just to be the Chanel lip gloss. And finally, a pen. But I found out that I can hold all of those in this Alma BB, and I can hold everything but the mini pochette in the classic flap small size. So I'm gonna show you how that all works. In the Alma BB, we'll put in the Chanel O coin purse. And what's so nice is you don't have to do like a Tetris, you know, puzzle trying to get them all in place. Throw the Hermes Bastard coin purse in there. Louis Vuitton six ring key clay. Louis Vuitton card holder. And mini pochette. And then pen and lip gloss. So that went really, really easily. And so that would be great for a day trip. No problems at all zipping up. I don't get warping up at the top. If you do, you can kind of shake things around or kind of pile them in differently. But that was really good. And there you go. I think the Alma BB is so pretty. And I know Amy Wong loves this one. This is her favorite bag. And I watched her last video. If you haven't watched it, you should. But this is one of the luxury items she cannot live without. So I'm going to take the mini pochette out because I know it's not going to fit everything in here, but we're going to go ahead and fit the other six items in the Vintage Chanel Classic Flap in the small size. So let's do all the same order of things. Chanel O coin purse. Louis Vuitton card holder. 
and I'm going to I'm going to have to plan this. So I always put the Chanel O coin purse vertically in this small flap. I just find that's easier to to put things in and then my card holder I put in vertically on the other side of the front pocket. Louis Vuitton six ring key clay on the other side from the back, from the Chanel O coin purse. Hermes Bastia coin purse or Bastia O coin change purse is a Bastia change purse from Hermes. I put on the same side as the Chanel O coin purse, a pen, and lip gloss. And that fits very, very well. I haven't had any trouble closing it. I hope I am tonight. I know I'm having trouble tonight. Oh. Actually, I should put all those three side by side. And then... Now I'm having trouble. I think I didn't line this up correctly. Oh, okay. The uh, Louis Vuitton card holder should actually be in the center section with everything else, and that's how I lined everything up. Now it should close. You can't beat the look of a Chanel Classic flap. This has endured so many years of style. I love how Coco Chanel designed this, and it was the very first shoulder bag that, sh that women could use instead of always having a hand-held bag. This is the first hands-free bag. So you can't go wrong with a Chanel Classic flap. And I think for me, I'm glad I own a Chanel Classic flap. Do I reach for her? Hardly at all, because number one, if I'm going somewhere, I do need everything. So I might take this to church. I might take this on a short trip, you know, somewhere in town. But or like a, a nice dinner date. But to use this every day, I just don't reach for it. The Alma BB, I would probably reach for more just because I can hold more of my stuff in here. So that's really, really important to know. I wanted you guys to know the differences in the capacity. So that if you, sure, if you want to add this to your collection, go for it because you'll never regret it. But if you've got funds to buy one of the two and you need an everyday, glamorous luxury bag that looks just as pretty as the Chanel, the Alma BB, you can't go wrong with either. So I hope this was helpful. The next video I'd like to do is to discuss how you can tell if a Chanel classic flap is authentic or fake. And it's just everything I've learned off of YouTube. So I look forward to seeing you in my next video.